<clears throat> Hi, this is Dr. Frederick, and uh, so here is a chi-square in which we have only one column. Okay, so if we want to right now, let's just say this, these, let's just make clear what our data are. Uh, our data are this. We asked people where they would prefer to go on vacation. We gave them a choice of three destinations and um, let's just see what the sum is here 96 people responded um, and 46 said they would go to the mountains so is is that uh, choice uh, unusually high? Is really what our question is. Do do more people? Can we legitimately say that more people out of our sample prefer the mountains than the other two destinations? It sure looks like a lot. And the way that we would uh, evaluate this is to just do a chi square. Here we just have some observed values. We don't have rows by columns. We just have one column, three rows. And so how do we figure out what the expected value is? Well, the expected value is simply the mean. You know, if you have 96 people, you expect 32, 32, 32 if there's no relationship. So the mean of our three choices, 32, is our expected value. And so... Observed minus expected is whatever this value is, minus 32. And we, so we make our column here, we square it, we then divide by the expected value. This is how we compute chi-squared. We're going to get these three values for each of our selections. Observed minus expected squared divided by expected. That adds up to 9.75. Okay, our degrees of freedom is going to be 2. We have three rows. Um, and so a normal computation is rows minus one minus column times one, but we can't have zero degrees of freedom. So we just ignore this term and say we have two degrees of freedom. And then that value is standard uh, for, you know, chi-square degrees of freedom to alpha equals 0.05 is 5.99. Now, if we take, you know, if the, really what's true about the population is that every choice is equivalent then um, we could sample endlessly from there, compute chi-squares for our endless sample. And the most extreme value, 95% of the time, would be 5.99. So that's our critical value. Anything more extreme than 5.99 uh, suggests very strongly to us that we, we have a situation where the null hypothesis that every choice is equal is not true. Our computed chi-square, which is the sum of these values, is 9.75, much more extreme. And so we, we have a significant test, and we conclude that there is a preference for the mountains.